This is the thing on the tip of everyone's tongue. JF, the Quebecois man of mystery, of intrigue, of the uh, something gene. He's an author, too. He does live streams. He talks in a really, really shitty French accent. He's also known for having an interest, a sexual proclivity towards mentally handicapped women. And recently, well-known mentally handicapped potato wife, Mama JF, has gone missing. And when I say recently, I uh, mistake myself. And I mean to say four months ago. Four months ago in June, uh, JF was instructed, according to him, to drop off Mama JF in the middle of the woods with literally nothing but a phone. JF writes this off as his silly wife being so silly and wanting to learn wilderness survivalism. However, after four months, he is now concerned about her well-being and has announced that there is a missing person investigation into the disappearance of Mama JF. Being said, it's a cheese that I really love. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watch that. What timestamp? Oh, celebrity. Why is this random fucking guy just watching him? One is. Alright, Lawrence Forbes has my girl. Around. Okay, here. This, this, this is a good clip of her just being like, like, shockingly retarded. Actual oh, issue. I need to die. <laughs> really? Don't, don't say oh, this is like a, a no, full I Mama JF compilation. No, I get seriously. You tried to kill me again. Okay. And I... Okay, this guy is just fucking gonna stop and just be like, "Oh my god, you hear what really she's... have an oh, issue with base. no white guilt, or is she just fooling you, around? She has an segment. actual oh, issue. Damn, I need to die. Don't, don't say anything violent. No, I won't. What do you have to say? No, I get seriously. You tried to kill me again. Okay. And I'm fucking sick that you're fucking me with me. You always follow me everywhere. And, All right. <laughs> and you say you want to make spiritual movement, but you fucking tried to kill me for three years again. You're fucking okay. psychopath, man. Okay, so the, the answer to the super chat is that Mama JF missed. So, in case you're wondering, that is how she sounds all the time, and there's kind of this benefit of a doubt that she's just French-Canadian, and that's just how they talk. Because they, I mean, even JFG sounds pretty fucking retarded when he tries to speak. But she comes out blathering incomprehensibly about how JFG has been trying to kill her for three years. And I guess... At the time, you hear this and you just think like, oh, this is like some weird joke because she doesn't really have the ability to intonate in such a way where you can tell if she's being serious. And JFG just doesn't treat it serious. He just says, okay, whatever. You're being weird, weird again. And she does have this habit of like randomly popping on stream, saying nonsense, and then leaving. Um, I want to say th that's one clip. However, there's another clip where uh, she comes on to talk about retards meaning sex. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I just want to say, no, I, get, I will never accept your apologies, okay? <laughs> what you did to me was so mean. And this guy is not a real person. He's doing shape shifting. <laughs> and uh, he's a ghost. Don't believe him. He's not a real person. Okay. And you so, want to kill me. Okay. So, no, my guilt is a ghost, uh, according. I have a question for Mama JF coming on the super chat. K Max McDonald says. Mama Jeff, what is your background? What country do you derive your ethnic heritage from? I can't, I can't answer that. I came in before. Uh, I had a, a bad life. But then after I discovered GF, then I started to look at GF every day. I was always looking at GF. I became crazy. I she's, uh, she's a fan of his. So... Here's a brief background from what I remember. So back in the day, like in stream.me days, there was a lot of bullshit with JFG going on. I can't remember why. I think it was because of the spud wife. Uh, people found documents of his in the Canadian court system. This is actually, I think, his second wife. And his first wife was another spud. However, she was so retarded that her family actually filed in the courts to try and gain custody of her. 
and JFG represented himself. Remember, I, I don't know this for sure. This is how I remember it. JFG represented himself in court to try and gain custody of this woman that their, her own family was fighting for custody for. And he looks so creepy and awful in these, uh, these calls or the, this case that he lost custody of this woman. And then afterwards, JF, uh, Mama JF, who is like a retarded woman who actually watches his streams, uh, tried to hook up with him. And I think that uh, she's now estranged from her family. And she's like an competent enough that uh, she doesn't, that they can't file for custody of her. That's everything I had out of my job, my family. I quit. See, she was isolated from her job and her family because of uh, she was watching him. Cool. I lost everything. I was just looking at GF all the time. Oh, it's crazy. And then after I wrote to him, I said, GF, I want to suck your dick. <laughs> and then he told me. <laughs> Even beautiful. Hello, Mama Jeff. Oh, you took your shower? Yeah, I was sleeping. Yeah, so. Hey, hello, AIU. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a big fan of AI. Hey, I uh, do want to say it's so nice what you do, but I don't know why you're atheist. Yeah, why are you an atheist, AI? You? Iris is nice. But it's a cheese. Oh, this is the cheese. There's that one clip where she pops in randomly to say that sex with retarded people is great or something. I heard something. <laughs> that retards need love too. She, that's what she says. Anyways, I'm, I'm tired of it. I just wanted to show you, like, when we talk about Mama JF, keep in mind that there is something wrong with her. It's like with a, it's not quite, I mean, she's worse than mint salad, but it's another one of those things where it's just like, um, you realize that she's retarded, right? You realize that she has like an IQ of maybe 80 tops. She hasn't really seen them all there. And JF, JF, uh, we found out because of this that they have two kids. So keep that in mind as well when I read this, that the neighbor came out and said, I'm very worried for her because she has two children. I still see the children. And we didn't know about the kids before, so they kept the children a secret for years. And now, um, so she's been gone for months, and JF has somehow by himself been raising two children while also doing his show. So it's like, is there another woman is he hiring like child care services for very very young children like what is happening here that that's also like you mean to tell me that the mother of two very young children is going to go off on a hiking adventure by herself for four months uh with you know children under the age of, of like four she's just going to go off and, and do that by herself and leave her children behind even if the mother is retarded I'm pretty sure, especially if the mother is retarded, that she's going to have a strong maternal instinct and is never going to let those kids go. Because um, we need like, to be like a, like mentally ill, not ju not just low IQ, in order to like abandon your own children as a mother because of how strong that instinct is. So all around, it's extremely sus. And I just wanted to lay all that out before uh, I start reading the comments. He announces on uh, Wednesday the following. The police in Canada is looking for Mama JF because in true Mama JF fashion, she has left her home in June and has disappeared from the map. I am sure that Mama JF is fine. I know she has been safe for at least two days after I dropped her off where she wanted in June. Mama JF is out of our home entirely voluntarily to go live a life of adventure wherever it would bring her. But since she has electronically disappeared, not connecting to her cell phone or updating me or her family. Uh, then he says, I ask anyone who would have encountered her to just notify the police so that they can know she is safe. And I ask her if she wants to leave a note to the police, me or her family to ensure everyone of her safety. If you want to send an encrypted tip anonymously, I can receive them at jfgarepe at protonmail.me. Uh, which is a very weird message in every way shape and form mother of two ch young young very young children of diminished intellectual capacity decides to be dropped off in the middle of the woods four months ago for two days after being dropped off in the woods she's able to be tracked by her phone which means that jfg has put a tracker on her phone to know where she's at after those two days there is no signal and he is not able to contact her or discover her whereabouts electronically at all despite this he does not contact the police for another four months at the end of the of the message 
He asks for people to notify her if they have seen her or know of her or if she's alive to send them an anonymous message. He then provides his ProtonMail account to receive emails from, which means that it is now possible that he will receive an encrypted anonymous email to this email address from a disposable email uh, from quote unquote Mama JF to notify him that she is very much alive and to not bother looking for her because she is so alive and so well, which would be a uh, thing that he could do on his own. <laughs> if he was trying to disrupt a police investigation. Um, he then continues, uh, or sorry, Occult Classics as K says, you were the last person known to see her since June, question mark. And he says, no, she has been traveling and leaving an electronic trace far from mine. So I do not expect to be a suspect in her disappearance, which is perhaps the most sussy baka statement ever put out by a associate of a missing person literally ever now as you know i am a uh i have a small interest in in uh in true crime just because it's one of the things on youtube that you can watch for a couple hours and have some background noise um i've heard a lot of sussy baka statements from like family members parents that kind of stuff i really can't think of another statement quite like this that is so <laughs> personally incriminating and this is so incriminating that when I read this, I thought, this is fake. This is like a thing. Mama JF is at home. She's just spudding it up. She's playing Pokemon or some shit. And eventually, he's just going to be like, uh-huh, I have found her. She has returned to me. And he'll just, you know, enjoy the benefits of all the drama and shit. However, uh, there's a police investigation. There is confirmed a missing person's notice from the Quebecois police uh, for Mama JF. So she is known to the police as a missing person and they have committed resources to finding her, which means that if it is a prank, uh, it will be one at JF's expense when they are pissed off. They wasted money and time looking for a woman where he knew where she was at. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, it's very strange. Uh, this is what he had to say in his next video regarding the disappearance. I think he was a little bit surprised how much that this kind of blew up, so he put out a message. So, um, in June, she left, and... And two days after leaving, so she left and she had a whole plan. She had... She had bought uh, camping material. She was on her way to some sort of survivalist trip. From what I understood, it looked like she was preparing for life in the wild. Uh, she promised me when she left that she would always be reachable and that I would be able to reach her to deal with all of the official papers. So this is suspicious enough as it is, but I want to remind you, two small children that JFG has been taken care of for four months on his own. Also suspicious that he said that she promised she would always remain in electronic communication with him, but he never reported her missing when she dropped off the face of the planet immediately after he dropped her off. So he rules out his own alibi like, well, she told me that she was going to be the grizzly man and travel through the woods and remember what it was like to be a real human. And uh, she also said, don't ever look for me again. I will come back on my own. Uh, instead, he says, yeah, she said that she would be in contact and then she wasn't, but I still did not report it. <laughs> Do you know that she owns a lot of stuff and... Sometimes I need her signature, and I was like, and, and although, you know, we, we do have legal remedies for this, I was like, uh, if you totally disappear, you might put me in trouble on some bills, on some, you know, getting utilities and everything. So, so she promised to me that she wouldn't fully disappear. Um, and um, she went away. And two days later, she... She talked to me on the phone and sent a message. But by the way, everything I, I tell you is things I have told to the police. So it's, uh, it's not, uh, there's no secret coming out that you guys are hearing. It might be secret from a public perspective, but it's all things that the feds have been knowing for a couple of days. 
So the last uh, message that she sends me uh, in June, two days after leaving, and it had been apparent, I think I, I may have been in contact for a couple of times during these two days. So I was sure that she was progressing through whatever trip she wanted to do. I knew that she was still alive. Uh, but two days uh, after leaving, she says, I have changed my plans. I will not hold my promise uh, toward you. I will not be reachable. And, I, and it's like, okay. Uh, I, uh, she says, I have a new plan. And I'm like, does your new plan involve any sort of attack against me or the family? Because you guys know how, much, how important that is to me. She says, you don't have to be worried. My new plan does not involve you. I'm just going to change cell phone. Now, I knew that she had left without any sort of electronic tracking. You know how the police can track you with your credit card, with your debit card. She had left with nothing but her phone. So when she said that to me through text, I concluded, okay, she's going off grid. You know, she's going full survivalism. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of in her in her fashion. I mean, that's the way Mama JF is. Yeah, that's how she is. You know, Mama JF, that crazy Mama JF. Yeah, drop me off in the middle of Quebec. What would be a great place in Quebec to to go to? Hold up, let me try and find a, a place for her real quick. So, from what he says, he dropped her off right there. Uh, this lovely little place. Um, this road called uh, Bonnet Rouge near Chemin de la Riviere Gatine. And I just said, yeah, good luck, crazy bitch. And then he just disappeared from, from, from the world and said goodbye. Uh, so that's his statement immediately after people start getting suspicious of him. And then, however, uh, he then said this, and I want to say, I'm pretty sure this, this, yeah, this statement came after the whole people started accusing him of murdering her. So it's like, it was from 620. Oh my God. I know what this is. And that's makes it even worse. I thought it was a recent thing. He says it's from 620. So three days after she was last seen in the first 18 minutes are mama JF related. I uh, saved a copy in case. Get ready. But in my case, I'm comfortable enough, and Mama JF has left me with everything that matters in life, what matters most of life. And so what can I do? I cannot hate her. I cannot be frustrated about this. And that's it. So that's why I had to take three days total to... I, I made so, so much cleaning, uh, so much reinstalling, so much plastering of the walls, construction, renovation. I wanted to set the home in the way I like it. It's like sterilize this home now. I can walk finally. I can access everything. The fridge is super clean. So if this is a joke and Mama JF is not dead, four months ago in June, he put out, he, he did not stream for three days. When he comes back, he makes a statement with this bizarre smirk the entire time saying that he replastered the fucking walls and sterilized the entire house because Mama JF has left with everything that matters, which means the children, and now the house is completely spotless. Four months later, he announces that she's missing and they're looking for her. This is the longest con in the history of long cons, um, if that is the case. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Josh, did this guy die recently? The answer is no. You are confusing him with the lead singer of Smash Mouth. And I want to make it absolutely clear that the lead singer of Smash Mouth is not JFG. I'm glad that we clean that, clear that up, chat. I don't want anybody getting confused. Um, okay. And this is the, the post on Facebook. Uh, Lisa Teeple says, was she leaving, living in O'Leary? And Donald Bayless says, uh, she was next to us in O'Leary. Yolinda Martin says, uh, is John still there? Uh, Leslie says, yes, I saw him last week with their young one. Uh, Nettie says, she had a little girl and was pregnant with her second last time I saw her, which was a while ago. I'm so concerned about her and her children. 
So she wasn't just, um, she didn't just have a child. She had, she was pregnant when she went missing, according to this person. I want to let you know uh, a little known fact, chat. You may not know this. Would chat like to guess what the number one cause of death for pregnant women is? The number one cause beats out any kind of medical issue uh, whatsoever or accident. <laughs> The number one cause of, of death for pregnant women is homicide by partner. It is specifically death by the person uh, in, in their relationship. It beats out accidents. It beats out health conditions. It beats out everything. It is the number one cause of death. Uh, neighbors are speaking with their kids. So again, nobody knew that they had kids until uh, the neighbors were talking on Facebook. No need. When I drove by, the RCMP were there, and he was on the step with one of the kids talking to them. She actually has two girls. So she uh, had the second girl at the time. So that's a newborn. That's a newborn. That's like an infant. That's a one-year-old infant. He's. You mean to tell me that JFG, a man, number one, a man, number two, a busy man who does a daily show, was okay with Mama JF leaving him with a newborn who is still breastfeeding. Is that what is that the story that I'm supposed to believe? Uh, I don't think so. JFG then goes on to say, uh, after the rumors of him being a cold-blooded murderer were spreading through social media, he says, Society will not improve as long as people prefer to attribute guilt to innocent men rather than conceive of the possibility that poor female decision-making does, in fact, exist. It is pretty wild to see people attacking me with the wildest impossible theories rather than accept the simple reality that our society has a problem with poor female decision-making that it refuses to face. The algorithm that plays out in people's brain can be readily observed as it deploys itself in social media inv in invectives. Uh, if something ha bad happens to a woman, finds the closest man, and he is responsible. Most haters play this algorithm one way or another. The first layer attributes guilt for a murder. A second, more subtle group attributes guilt for not caring enough, but what is a man supposed to do in face of a modern female who chooses to utter the words, I want to go? How many of those criticizing me today would be criticizing me for a boost in detainment if I had not let her go? In the end, only a small group of people truly understands the fallacy of the whole algorithm presented above. This algorithm is simply incompatible with our own society's stance on individual female liberty and emancipation, which would have been elevated to sacrosanct status. Here we are playing with forces the Bible had warned us against. So, in order to <laughs> thank you, Adrian, in order to dissuade people from thinking that he had anything to do with his wife's uh, disappearance, I won't say murder, I'll say disappearance. Uh, he immediately blames women and says that you see, I am the I am the true victim here. She told me she wanted to be dropped off in the woods to live uh, in neighbor springs as a grizzly bear. And what am I supposed to do? She is a modern, emancipated woman with personal liberty and, uh, and self-determination in her life. And if that's what she wanted, well, I can't stop her. I have to let her go. And I also have to hide the fact that she's left to live as a grizzly bear in Neighbor Springs. And uh, she's not going to take the children and she's going to leave without her phone and just be a wild grizzly bear woman. So... <laughs> <laughs> like he's his his hope here is that the Andrew Tate people will show up. Like Andrew Tate will force ghosts into Quebec and be like, I got you, Meng. Inshallah, brother, we'll clear this shit up. And then like all the big hitters will come out to play. Uh, which he may actually get a chance at because guess what, chat? Uh there is a man who has come out to defend JFG. And warn against all that wishy-washy presumption of guilt that 
certain Karens may be up to. Uh, Dick Masterson has agreed to interview JFG and based on his interview with low tax and other people that he feels have been wronged by womankind, I have a feeling, I have a distinct feeling he's going to uh, give him a good platform to hang himself on by saying incredibly stupid shit. Thank you very much, Dick.